Well, when Somalis and others seek asylum in Canada, the Manitoba Interfaith Immigration uh, Council in Winnipeg provides everything from temporary housing to legal services. In part two of our series, Taking Flight, a viewer scene analyst Jeffrey Young visits the council's welcome place. Emerson, Manitoba sits just at the border with the United States. Over the past few years, scores of asylum seekers have crossed into Canada there, legally and illegally. 110 kilometers north of Winnipeg, the Manitoba Interfaith Immigration Council assists many border crossers, as Executive Director Rita Chahal explains. When we started to see uh, people crossing at Emerson, and there was no one there to help them, and people were crossing, and we, they needed a place to stay, uh, we were one of the first agencies that responded very quickly. Jean-Pierre Vinegas is a senior manager at the Council's Welcome Place facility. He says the group works with Canadian border authorities to help asylum seekers. My main role was, uh, it, it is to coordinate the arrival of refugee claimants. I have a, a daily communication with the CBSA, Canadian Border Service Agency, and they inform me in the case that they need transportation for one of our clients that they arrive at the port of entry of Amazon. Border crossers brought to Welcome Place receive temporary housing and a range of social services, including legal assistance with asylum claims. Isaac Magoya, who is from Somalia, works at a Winnipeg car repair shop. He explains why he left the United States, where his wife and children remain. Uh, till the 2017, I was living there, all my family. Uh, I was running what out for the deportation. And then I don't get any status from the USA. And then uh, I come to the, to the Canada uh, to, uh, to find the, because they scare the deportation. Welcome Place is helping McGoya settle, but he says life won't be complete until his family joins him in Canada. They asked me about the, my asylum case and then take me to the, the place I can stay and they started so they took me some money for the food and they paid my rent uh, they, they, uh, to check it they, for the, and then give me the, also the work permit, the opportunity and then I got a driving license to work and then uh, right now they, I'm, I'm working in hard I'm working in hard right now, only what is left right now in my family. Winnipeg's Somali community is vibrant and growing. We'll hear from more of them in the next segment of this series, Taking Flight. Jeffrey Young, VOA News, Washington.